be seen and it's even better to see you. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I of course am Francis. You can find me on social media right here at Real Fran Alvarez. Thanks for watching. If you're new here to veganism, to motivation, to vlogging, and you're into that stuff, I invite you to go ahead and like and subscribe while I have your attention now. Roll that intro. Welcome back guys. So as you probably saw by that, I was just chugging some uh, pea protein milk that I happen to enjoy and love after, you know, four years of being vegan, I finally found the one that's right for me. And this is a shameless plug. You're welcome. They're in no way, shape or form sponsoring this video, but this is actually very good milk. Uh, this is by far my favorite. It's called Bolt House Farms. I'm actually uh, LinkedIn buddies with the CEO as of recently, and uh, he just let me follow him on Twitter. So if you're watching, Kudos to you, man. Quick plug for the real sponsor of this video. I, of course, am the CEO of Petmosphere, the app that remains in hopes of becoming the only app that you'll ever need for everything pet related. So go ahead and visit petmosphere.com. Pause this video, do that right now. Download the app, it's free to join. It's available on Android as well as iPhone. So go ahead and make sure to join the community and you can also follow me on petmosphere.com. Anyway, guys, I just got home from grocery shopping and it just dawned on me that I kind of want to talk about why I like to spend the extra $2 when it comes to plant-based milks. I don't know if you know this, but in my neck of the woods, the national average for a gallon of dairy milk is going for roughly $5.07. When I look to the right, all the plant-based alternatives from coconut to soy, almond to cashew, pea to anything you can think of, I think there's like 13 alternatives right now. Um, they're going for at least $1.50 to $2 in my case. Both House Farms is uh, selling for roughly under $7, which, you know, to a lot of people might seem like a lot of money to spend on milk, but when you think about it, I have a couple of reasons as to why I choose to go for the non-dairy version. I, of course, am a vegan, have been for almost four years, so there are a lot of um, thought processes that go into excluding dairy from your diet and instead opting for these delicious, healthy, plant-based alternatives. So here's the catch. First and foremost, I like spending the extra $2 to purchase this gorgeous bottle of Bullhouse Farms because I know and I have the peace of mind when I lay my head on the pillow that I am not contributing to a very uh, demanding, excruciating, uh, horrible industry that is the dairy industry. While I have your attention, I want you to go ahead and follow Dairy is Scary hashtag on all social media and try to get acquainted what actually uh, goes on behind the scenes because it's, it's, it's an industry that needs to end. It's an industry that is horrible in every shape, way, and form uh, from beginning to end. And it is quite arguably the most horrendous animal cruelty industry in the entire planet. Because if you think about it, you're, most people at least think that you're not hurting or killing the cow when it's part of uh, the dairy industry. But fact of the matter is once it stops producing, once it's no longer use to the dairy industry and then becomes a part of the meat industry and we all know where that's going to lead up to. So that's definitely reason number one. I like having that peace of mind that I'm not contributing to a cruel and unjust industry and I think that we should stop it. I think that you should consider opting for the more healthy plant-based alternative that is Bolt House Farms or any other company that is involved in plant-based alternatives. Speaking of reason number two, this is by far healthier than any version of dairy milk that you can probably purchase at any grocery store in the world. You remember those slogans, the Got Milk campaigns? Fact of the matter is they were funded by millions, if not billions of dollars to try and get you to drink milk from a cow. Now, granted, your mother does not moo if you're watching this, therefore you are not a baby cow as Joey Armstrong would call Piers Morgan, you're just not a baby cow, bro. And I think that applies to literally every single human. We're not cows, we are a different breed of species. We are humans and therefore there is absolutely no need for us to drink milk other than our own mother's breast milk. So 
in the end, health is a priority. Reason number three, milk actually causes osteoporosis. And I'm sure that by now you are uh, been led to believe, I should say, that milk is actually a counter to osteoporosis and that is in fact the, quite the opposite. Milk actually contributes to osteoporosis and brittle bones and uh, calcium deficiencies. And so we've been, you know, given this propaganda of hundreds of years into thinking that we need cow's milk in order to be healthy. That is not the case. That has never been the case. That will never be the case as long as you continue to consume dairy products, both in milk form, cheese, yogurt, and any other uh, dairy alternative that's out there that's being sold to us for decades. So that's it for me guys, quick short video. That's why I like to spend the extra $2. If you got something out of this video, if you like this video, I'm gonna go ahead and invite you to do all that good stuff YouTubers do. Go ahead and subscribe and, and I might just see you in the next video if you stick around. Kudos. Shh.